Welcome back everyone, Mudford here, out in the backyard, working on the garden a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed from like my intro video, some of my previous videos, we had an electric fence around our garden, and we just happened to decide this year to upgrade to a real fence. I was in the middle of working on that when we had this whole crisis happen this year. So we decided we're, we're to add some things to the garden. So I'll bring you along and show you what I'm doing and what we've added. I just want to say that um, through this whole thing our governor has just been, in my opinion, terrible. And right in the middle of this, I was trying to buy some plants, and I was told that plants, according to her, are non-essential. And we're talking fruit plants, so was not real impressed with her. So just any time the government tells me I probably shouldn't need something or it's not essential, that's when I pretty much deem it is totally essential. So I'll go ahead and show you what we got. So I went ahead and put the fence up to keep critters out. We've had some problems in the past with rabbits and deer. So I, what I did was I put a planter all the way around the whole fence. On three sides anyway. Because we have the chicken coop on the, and the chicken pen on the other side. But the planter goes all the way around. So what I did is I planted some raspberries in this corner and also in that corner and in the corner over there I planted blackberries and then along the east side I planted strawberries and on the west side I planted strawberries and the north side we planted blueberries. Hopefully we end up getting a lot of fruit out of this. We probably won't get a ton this year. I'm hoping to get more every year. And we still have our blueberries in the bed along the walkout basement path. And then strawberries on that side. So this is just an addition to that. So what I'm working on today is I'm putting a soaker hose all the way around. So, in my previous videos, you might have seen, we have this PVC system in for watering, and I have one faucet out here that is going to be for just putting a little hose and maybe spraying the flowers here. We're trying to get as many flowers as possible because we just got another batch of bees, so we want to have as many flowers as we can for them, and as many fruiting vegetables and fruits also. So, hopefully they'll enjoy that. One more thing I'm adding to the garden is we've got some electric out here. I'm going to put an outlet, an outdoor outlet, and then I'm going to have a switch here. It's also going to have a photoelectric switch so that we can just have it dusk till dawn for lights. And I'm going to have some lights on the corner posts, and then also one in the middle on the long side there. So we're going to have five lights out here that I have to wire up. But that's just on the back burner right now. What we really want to get going is the watering system. So there's not much in the beds right now. It's pretty early. We've got some sugar snap peas coming up and some onions. I think I showed you them in the other video. The rest of our stuff is still growing inside, waiting to come out. But there's still a chance of frost, so we're just waiting probably another week or two. So what I'm going to be doing is finishing hooking this up. I think I'm going to cut it and shorten it so that they meet right here in the middle and then they just have the ends on them. When I pulled this one out of the garage, the end was gone. Well, I have it, but it just something chewed through it or it broke. So I think we're just going to shorten it and have it end here. This is in the middle post. 
on the north side and then we're just going to have our one come from the other way and end here also. So that's what I'm going to work on next. got some of these conduit straps. I didn't really need them to fit tight. I just want to kind of hold it in the general area of where I want the soaker hose to be. So I need to get some more of those. But we got this side pretty much done. Once we get the end on, we'll turn the water on and see how this one works. I found what I think is going to be a good way to do this. I'm going to cut it right there at the and end it right there and I'm going to put this bolt right in the end of the hose and then clamp it and that should do it and then I'll still have the end of it I can put a different fitting on and make a shorter one if I want because uh, I'm probably going to have some other waters on the other strawberry and blueberry beds so it would be kind of cool to have a shorter one I can custom cut it right for the bed so all I need to buy is fittings if I do that so I'm going to go ahead and get this going That's one done, and I'm going to have the other end come up here like this and stop. And it's all set now. I think it turned out perfect with just a couple bolts and clamps that I had laying around. I'm going to go ahead and turn the water on and get the strawberries and blueberries and raspberries watered. I just wanted to show you this. I have this tank behind my garage. It's actually in the chicken pen. I'm hoping to hook gutters up and um, collect rainwater in there and tie that into my whole irrigation system and put a small pump in there to pump it over here. I don't have that yet right now, so I'm just running off my well. Now we're just gonna turn on the faucet and have it come from the well. This is way better than carrying buckets of water and dumping them. So I just need to get the electrical ran for the lights out here. I'm going to get the weeds all out between the beds. There's some spots where there's quite a few. And then I'm going to put a whole bunch of mulch down. And then we'll gradually start planting our garden as the weather permits. I think this was a great project. And I'm really excited about the food that we'll be able to provide ourselves for our family for years to come. And I would challenge you to work on a project like this to be able to provide food for your family right from your own property.
garden upgrades are finally complete. So I really like these style of lights. They're actually an LED supposedly, but they don't look like it. And it's a nice orange glow to them, which I like. I think it turned out really good. This is where my power came up to power my electric fence. What I did is I just put a weatherproof GFCI outlet in here. And then I ran power from there up to a switch so I can turn the lights on and off. And then I also have a photoelectric eye over here so I can leave them on to run overnight. Still have some planting to do because we did have some late frosts. But we have the garden ready to go. It's almost like a park now.